Uh, blessed evening to you all tonight. I'm here tonight to support a brother, Fair Brother Third. A man that you guys can depend on to bring you a better community. And let me say to you tonight, no retreat, no surrender. We're going forward. And our plan is to fight for this community so that you can have better living facilities and a better community. Let me say to you tonight that you have suffered all the United Progressive Party. You have suffered. You and your children have been left behind. Yes. And we are saying tonight that true labor is here to give you that hope. And you can have faith that we will deliver when the time comes around. We have been struck down by the United Progressive Party. We have been wiped out by a tsunami of the UPP. We have been smashed by the hands of the United Progressive Party. And here they are tonight saying to you, you people know more than ever. How dumb can they be? You people know more than ever. And up to this day, we haven't heard any policies to fix the problem that we are having in Antigua, which is unemployment. My brothers and sisters, let me say to you, everybody knows that we depend on tourism. Tourism is what we depend on. But what is happening, and what these bigger brands don't want to understand, that our tourism trend lasts for six months. And this is what we as Antiguans have to be doing year after year, is working hard for six months, putting your money in bank, and the other six months, you have to use that money. What that means? You have no reserve. And we in the True Labour Party are saying, that we are going to bring industries, industries that we can bring more job opportunities to this community and to other, other communities within Antigua. That's our plan. And we intend to have you, the people of this community, to give you jobs and opportunities that you can provide for your family, that you can provide for your kids, let me say to you tonight, if you look on the index of finance for Antigua, you will see from November to May is when our budget peaks. And in the months of, of June until October, our business is down. And up to this day, the government hasn't had a power plan to, 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 to fix this problem. Let me say to you tonight, I have been speaking with some gentlemen overseas who are running football leagues, soccer leagues in the States. And we have been, and I have been speaking to these people about utilizing our stadium here in Antigua. That in the off season, we can get these Premier Leagues from the States right here in Antigua, where we can try to expand the tourism market by moving right into sports tourism. And this is the way to go. The sports tourism happens all year round. And we will penetrate all the, all the states on the east coast of the United States, where it takes just three and a half hours or four hours to fly to Antigua. These are some of the initiatives that we will be looking out for. These are some of the initiatives that we will be putting so that we can expand the tourism market. These are some of the stuff, my brothers and sisters. So you can be employed. Let me say to you tonight as well, I heard the Antigua Labour Party speaking about 500 homes. The questions I have to ask tonight, who will finance these homes? And if the Antigua Labour Party is saying that Antigua is poor, people is poor, do they plan to give you these houses? What is the finance arrangement with these houses? My and our party's position is to find a way to get you employed. This thing about 500 houses is a gimmick. 
Who will get this 500 house? Which community will get this 500 house? This is just a joke. And we, the people of Antigua, the people of this community, needs to rise up as a people and say to these people that you will not be fooled. You will not be fooled again by the United Progressive Party or by the Antigua Labour Party. We are here to rescue you. We are here to bring ideas to the table so we can make a better Antigua and Barbuda for you and your family. Let me say to you tonight, in the constituency of St. Paul's, where I reside, our clinic has been closed in English Harbour for over three or four years because of rat infestation in the community, in, in the clinic. And up to this day, nothing has been done to the clinic. People from English Harbour has to journey from the English Harbour to Liberta just to go to the clinic. And this is the kind of representative the United Progressive has. People who don't care. There's a people first. Antigua first. Look around today. See who have the contracts for the sidewalk. They don't have the same color like us. Look around. And you need to send your PP and the Antigua Labour Party a message that you will not be fooled and that you are going to support a new party. Fresh blood, fresh minds, fresh ideas. Yes. And this is what you need to support. A movement who are moving with you, the people, with your interests at heart. And you have to give us that opportunity. You must give us that opportunity. You must give them the opportunity to represent you in Parliament. You must give him that opportunity. And when we, the True Labour Party, gets into government, we will have you, the people, first. We don't have no gimmicks for you guys. We don't have no money to be tossing out. What we have tonight is information to inform you, to educate you, to enlighten you, to let you know that our country is going in reverse gear. And it's only you, the people of this community, can make a difference. Only you. Are you willing to put these two bad guys behind? Are you willing to put them behind? Are you willing to support a new party, a new vision, that we can take you to a higher place? If you have seen over the past 10 years the fight that the Antigua Labour Party and the United Progressive Party has had in Parliament, in court, our country has been stagnated. We are not moving. Well, these two political parties are just fighting for office. How can you support this party? How can you support this party? These guys are crazy. Look at our communities, with so many young people are not working. So many. And what they're doing today? Do you see the amount of money that the Antigua Labour Party and the United Progressive Party has spent over the past week yeah. on campaigning? Do you see? And, and, uh, Do you know the amount of young people who are out there without a job, who cannot eat, who don't know where their next meal is coming from? But yet still, thousands of dollars have been spent on the street. And because we support a party, we decide, okay, we're going with UPP. But let me say to you tonight, you need to make an informed decision for this year. You need to come forward and vote so that your kids' future can be secured. That's what you need to do. And we will continue to fight and fight and fight just for your rights of this community. We will put our lives down and fight for you. No surrender, no, no retreat. No surrender, no retreat. You hear me tell you? No surrender, no retreat. We will keep pressing on. Although these two parties have been trying to squeeze us, we will fight 
because we have the strength and the backing of you, the people. And we are two or five or more of us gathered together. We can make a difference. We can make a difference. When I listen to what's happening in Antigua with the CIP bill, it hurts my soul. To see in 2004, Baldwin Spencer, the leader of the United Progressive Party, was arguing about the sale of passports. Now today, the United Progressive Party is selling passports. The people of the Caribbean Islands, uh, it's, it's so hard for them to get a passport, living here for three, seven years. But tomorrow, an individual could come with $250,000 and become an Antigua. One of the questions I have for the Prime Minister, when somebody comes to Antigua and buys into the CIP program, what stops this individual from moving from Antigua to another Caribbean country because he's now a, Car a Caribbean citizen? How would you make sure that this gentleman does not use Antigua as a stepping stone to another Caribbean country that doesn't have a CIP? These are the issues which are bothering me. These are the problems. If you check on the amount of people who are lined up for the CIP bill, the CIP pro project, are people from the Middle East, people from China, because we, the people of the Caribbean, cannot afford $250,000. US. US dollars, US dollars. We cannot afford it. So now you, the people of the Caribbean, have been marginalized because of finance. And we are deciding to support a party blindly. My friends, my comrades, it's time for you to smell the coffee. Smell the fever, brass bush. Wake up. Understand what is happening to your country. And we cannot continue to support party blindly. You can support your country. Country first, party second. That is how you need to live your life. And my brothers and sisters, let me say to you, as long as you support the True Labour Party, you can be sure you will be looked after. You can be sure better health care. You can be sure that there will be job opportunities. Because our plan is to get industries within the communities. That we can have you employed. My brothers and sisters, are you ready for the change? Are you ready for a new vision? Are you ready to make that big, bold decision? Are you ready to put the Bird the third, to office? These are questions I'm asking you tonight. You must come out and vote via Bird the third. This is what you need to support. A gentleman who fights for your, your cause. His father has done it for years. Has fought for your cause. And this gentleman has the same principles and morals of his father. And that's why I am here tonight to support this gentleman. And you need to give him a chance. Forget about Tika the snake. Tika doesn't understand people. He doesn't understand the grassroots of you people. He doesn't understand the problem that you people are facing. Because what? Tico live out in Swiss. Tico is out in Swiss every day and the corners liming. That's what he's been paid for. To lime on the corners. He hasn't been to rubbing around here to hear your problems. But now he's around, looking your vote. It's time enough that we people of Antigua stop entertaining these politicians when they come around six months before elections. We need to stop it. Take them off your doorstep. And when they come to you, it's not you listening to them. It's they need to listen to you. They're coming around telling you all kind of stuff on the manifesto. 
You are the individual need to ask the question. You are the one giving the job. So how can you allow them to come and talk to you and tell you what they're going to do? We are open to suggestions. We want you to tell us what are your problems? What kind of development you want to see in your community? And we will make sure that these developments happen. These are the kind of representatives that you need. You cannot continue to support a party just because of your grandparents. We've passed those days. We passed those days that when the grandmother said you're going blue, you're going blue. We done those things. Those things are all time mockery. We need to get in tune with what's happening in the world. We need to move forward and forget about the backward thinking. Our people have been educated over the past years. And it is time for you to exercise your brains and vote for an individual who you know will make a difference. And that individual is none other than Veer Burdeter. Will you give him that chance? Will you support him? Will you make that difference? The question is there for you tonight, my brothers and sisters. The question is there. Would you take that bold step? A couple of years ago, I'm going to show you how this political thing is just a gimmick. And again, a couple of years ago, United Progressive Party, along with Bush Stewart, was going to sell the, half, the, the, the Long Bay Hotel area. And Gaston campaigned against the sale of Long Bay. They had pickets, they have demonstrations. And then a couple months ago, I hear Gaston saying he's for it. What kind of flip flop are we are we having here as a leader? The same Gaston arguing about the passport sale. So Gaston saying he's for it. What kind of nonsense is this? We need to stand firm. But I want to ask a question tonight without calling any names. Who did Alan Stanford gave all those money in 2004-2009? Who got those monies? Gaston Brown. You guys know who got those monies and we are the monies today. He told me got the money. Personal money. pockets. Personal gain. But let me tell you how disappointed I am and the people of English Harbour Farmer. The Gaston Brown bought three acres of land in English Harbour. Three acres of land for $75,000. I bought a piece of land in St. Paul's, 0 0.5 of an acre for $75,000. $75,000, 0 0.5 of an acre. It means not even half. And Gaston Brown sell quarter of one of his acre for almost half a million dollars. How can we elect these guys to be the custodian of our lands? when they are selling the lands. It is a privilege of the parliamentarians to get land at a cheaper rate. And I accept that. I accept it. Because these are people who are working and should be working for the interests of our people. But then, no parliamentarian who, bought, who buys land as a parliamentarian, the dollar fifty per square foot, has the right to sell his land for no millions of dollars. And I am saying to you tonight, the true Labour Party will stop this kind of abuse in government. The true Labour Party will put policies in place that we allow you if you want to buy your land. But all the 50 years, you cannot sell that land for no, no profit. If you want to sell that land, sell it back to the local man. Because we have been marginalized in our country. And I'm saying to you tonight, we want a militant people right now. Yes. No more game show. Yes. The game is finished. It's time for the war. It's steel against steel, fire against fire. Tell them, come, we're ready for them. We're educated, we're informed. And we want to bring you with us. 
to let them know that we are going to bring a change. We are going to make a difference. We are going to fight as a team. We must go forward. My brothers and sisters tonight, we are ready for the game. We are ready for parliament. We are ready to take government. We need your support. This is what we're calling on for you tonight to let you know that we are going to fight and keep fighting. Look what's happening in our country today. A mockery. A mockery. Where it's just a month and a half before our election, the constitutionally due. And we don't know we're having elections. <laughs> we don't know what is happening. It seems to me that Balmain outplays health. Let me tell you something, see? If anybody studied politics, you would understand as an incumbent government, you never have election past June. And why is that? When June comes over, what happens? Unemployment sets in, season cut off. Hundreds of people are sent home from hotels, from restaurants, from bars. Do you think people who are laid off will vote for a common government? It doesn't happen. And that's why most governments will have election in June, in, in April, or in March. Because people are still working. But they don't understand politics. They don't understand the reason and the rationale why elections are held in this time of the year. Let me say to you, they all play themselves. And look what's happening now. They're trying to play on your little, your, your life now. And they expect you to have sympathy. So you know what they're doing? They're having out in the church revivals. Just to play with your emotions. And you need to send them a message. That we are not going to just use God for politics. That you must continue to serve God all year round. For all the year I haven't heard no kind of revivals. All of a sudden, you hear revivals. They want the Christians to come out because they want the vote. But people need to understand what is happening. You can't play worry with God. You cannot play worry with God. You understand what I'm saying to you tonight? And this is what they're doing. Now the Antigua Labour Party now, what they do? They hire some guys from Jamaica and they down there have the music and they get on. And all the young people that love the party and come and they say oh, there are plenty of people down there. If they didn't have those artists down there performing, how much people do you think would have been there? They've lost the support of people. People are so fed up. And the reason why we decide to come forward as a party, because I have been, we've been hearing people are saying, you know what? We're just going to have to vote for the lesser of the two evils. But we are here. We are going to give you that opportunity to vote for a party with sound backing, a party who knows principles and stand and moral values of the community, of the people. This is what we come with you for and with. So you people need to get on board. My brothers and sisters, do you see what is happening in Antigua? Do you see what is happening? That we have a transport board that was built with millions of dollars and our roads are not fixed. People don't understand that the money that is collected from transport board was we put right back into the road, the road program. That is what transport board is all about. When you pay your licensing, the money from that pays to fix the road. And what has been happening? A couple days ago I went up to transport board. I can't believe they have marble tile inside. I am saying to you elderly people, mind you don't break your leg. This is what's happening. It seems to me that transport board headquarters has now turned into a palace. And I've been to a lot of different countries where I see transport board is set up in two or three containers linked together, properly panel with air conditioning services. Because transport board is a simple operation. A simple, simple operation. And millions of dollars have been pumped into a building. They have gym. They have all sorts of stuff up there. Since when that you going to work at a transfer board for eight hours, you need a gym. Since when? And this is what's happening with the vantage spending of our resources that we have. And our prime minister who supposed to be curtailing 
this one time spending and not doing anything. This is what's happening. Look at look at the car park. What's happening to the car park? And I saw that they fool are we? They fool are we? A month before the general elections in 2009, they had a grand opening. Yeah, can you remember? Yeah. A grand opening. Yes. Up to today, nothing happened. It's dog and puss living in the place now. You hear me tell you? This is what's happening. Look at the sale of the Royal Antiguan Hotel. Let me say to you tonight, that hotel was one of the thriving hotels of Antigua. The thriving hotels. And I could tell you, because I can remember that we used to have about 15 or 20 taxi drivers working in that area. And what's happening today? There's one or two taxi drivers down there, not even getting one job. This is what's happening. And the hotel has been sold, I think it's for 15 or 18 million dollars. A hotel with acres and acres of land. And we bought a Bangkok building for 15 or 18 million dollars. What way is the rationale? Where is the education and the finance minister supposed to be fixing and looking out for those, those, those kind of situations? This is what's happening. But what is happening in Antigua is that these guys have a bunch of qualities. And what they do is to funnel the money to these guys. The That's what they do. If you support the United Progressive Party and you have a house you want to sell, it seems to me they overpay you for the house so they could get the kickback. And this is what's happening. And I don't understand what's happening. Antigua people has gone to sleep. They've gone to sleep. And the two parties are saying the people have gone to sleep. But I know when the place is quiet, it's a storm going to rage. And we, the true labor, is going to bring that storm to wipe out these two parties. The same thing, we only have five candidates. Five, they say. Fantastic five, they say. But let me tell you something tonight. We have five candidates who was moral intact. We have five candidates who are there and ready to do the job. We have five candidates who are willing to fight for you. Five candidates who is not going to tell you what you just want to hear. We are going to tell you the truth. We are going to tell you what makes our country thick, what makes our country run. We are not going to come here and tell you we are going to buy build 500 homes. Because I could tell you I could build 1,000 homes in one day. I could tell you that. Well, we spent the last election, I think they said 365 houses in how much it, how much it is. Big but where did they get this house problem from? Then hey, tell them I need you for bed. A job I want! Job! And this is how the country moves. And you can't build your own Let me say to you tonight, see, our country has gone far behind. Antigua was once the beacon in the Caribbean country. And because of that, we welcome everybody to our country. Because we needed extra people to help to develop our country. And our population is very small. And when you have a small population, what happens? Tax becomes a burden. The more people contribute to the tax scheme, is less tax you pay. So you know, by the way, people, we need people so they can contribute. When the Antigua Labour Party was in power, and let me explain something to you. You see what's happening with, with, with our pension scheme, social security? If something doesn't happen, it's going to crash. If you study finance, you will understand that every person who's getting from social security, at least 20 persons should be contributing. At least 20 persons should be contributing. From since this United Progressive Party took office, where people have been sent home, Today is about five or six persons contributing to one person who is getting pension. It means in 15 to 20 years, if something is not drastically changed, it's going to crash. So people who are in their 40s and 50s who are hoping to get that pension plan, trust me, you're not going to get it. And these are the stuff that you need to understand. I've been listening to the, to the two political parties for the past weeks. And you, the people, will say yourself that you haven't heard no kind of policies. Nothing, nothing. nothing at all. These people coming on stage going out like they're full with the Holy Ghost and all kind of crazy stuff. And one party bashing the other party. 
We have policies for you. We want to let you know we have you and the people in heart. We want you and the people to know that we are on your side. And we are not here to fool you. We are not here to fool you. And some of you are saying, why vote for the true Labour Party? You've given the United Progressive Party a chance. Two terms. Well, they win one, the thief one. They failed you. They failed you. And the Antigua Labour Party failed you. So what am I saying tonight? You're saying to me, I guess in your mind, how will five seat form a government? That's what you're saying. How will five seats form a government? A government needs, our government in Antigua needs nine seats. Nine seats to form a government. It means if we, the true Labour, wins five seats, it means the other two parties will have six seats each. Am I correct? Mm -hmm. Five and twelve make seventeen. So both parties win six seats and we win five seats. Do you think these two parties can come and convince us to change our policies? When we are the party and we are the middle ground between the two, we are the party which is between two, the two major parties. We are going to be the one that set the stage. We are the ones who is going to be calling the shots. That's the plan. And we don't have no plan to back out because I hear people in different quarters saying, this is just a pressure group. Well, I'm glad they say it's a pressure group because some of them are pressure today. You understand what I'm saying to you? And we will continue to fight. We will continue around this country. We will continue to let you know that we will not retreat. That we will go forward. And you, the people of this constituency, must support fear by the turn. That's what you must do. So all the way with fear by the turn on election day. Thank you. You're not alone Live I'll be right there for you You're not alone Live I'll be right there for you